What's up my brothers? In this video we're going to be talking about three critical errors that a lot of you guys make in your long-term relationships or marriages. So this will be good for all you guys that have considered or are in any of one of those scenarios. I do a lot of coaching with a ton of guys. I get a lot of social uh, clips and screenshots sent to me. And you know, I trip over this stuff kind of like, you know, throughout the course of my day as I'm just kind of going about my business. And I got to tell you, this pops up way too often these these three things. The, the the first two are going to be the most important. The, th the third just kind of sums it all up. So the first one is the whole um, asking for permission to do or buy things from your, and it doesn't necessarily have to be wife, could be girlfriend, significant other, whatever the hell you want to call it, but looking for permission to do things that you would otherwise normally do as a man, as a single man. There's absolutely no reason why in a relationship, guys, you should be uh, letting go or giving up things that matter to you. Um, I've seen guys say things like uh, in group discussions about, oh, you know, my wife just gave me permission. Like, oh, oh, wow, you know, I got permission to do something I could normally do on my own had I not had a wife or a girlfriend or a significant other. But my wife just gave me permission and a budget for, you know, like, three thousand dollars to spend on my next mountain bike or something like that and by the way that's not a lot of money for a mountain bike for those of you that don't mountain bike uh, you know they do cost quite a bit more when you get into the nicer equipment I mean you can still get something reasonable for that amount but my dear god imagine imagine being you know in a position where you as a guy need to ask like as a grown-ass adult need to get the permission of your wife or girlfriend or whatever to go and do something that you would normally want to go and do another one that I've seen many times before is a lot of guys will you know get into these LTRs or marriages and women make them give up things like their guns you know they have a passion for hunting or for target shooting clay skeet you know just sending lead down range and a little target you know over and over again a lot of guys like that and I'll tell you straight up, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. You know, I've got, you know, I've got my own collection. I like to do it whenever I get a chance to get out. But a lot of guys will just give that up because, you know, their wives or their wife's family or maybe it's their culture or, you know, something. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a prohibited thing. Like they're scary, they're bad, they're terrible. So, you know, you as a guy are no longer allowed to have that. Um, you know in your household whereas prior to that you might have grown up around it Maybe you got your first 22 when you were you know seven years old and your dad took you to the range or in the backyard to shoot pop bottles or something like that It's just it just blows my mind that these these otherwise successful grown-ass men are willing to bend the knee and give up things that matter to them. now some guys might argue well you know rich that's what you got to do in a relationship you know and I'll tell you that's not the case and that's why I put a third one here on the end of this one so we'll deal with that more more towards the end the other thing that I've seen which is a precursor to problems in the relationship and even really starts the clock kick you know ticking down to the end of the relationship at some point for many of guys that, that, that do the second thing as well so the first one is just like okay that's bad the second one is to total and utter lack of respect and I see this in social environments in uh, you know family gatherings and stuff like that where the wife you know usually after a long-term basis where they've been together for a while uh, is quite disparaging to her husband her boyfriend whatever and they clearly don't have genuine burning desire for them anymore they're just a tool to facilitate whatever it is that they're looking to accomplish in their life uh, renovate the next kitchen uh, buy the next house you know take the next trip or the jur next journey and these women just it's 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 pretty disgusting when you see it and when you start to see the code in the matrix as a guy how uh, you know these women will disparage their their husbands you know the guy that's really supposed to lead the guy that's supposed to be at the head of the household who's supposed to be the king and she's the queen and all that sort of stuff is we've been lyriced our entire lives with you know disney-esque movies and, and stuff like that treating him like a bag of garbage uh worse than what they would treat you know their boss at work or or a co-worker an employee or a vendor or anything like that they they treat them like literally a bag of dog shit 
And you're going to see this, you know, if you haven't seen it, you start to open your eyes to it, you're going to see it more and more as you start to pay attention to these sorts of uh, dynamics in relationships. It's one of the things that I can't help to pay attention uh, to right now. And it's not because, oh, rich or bitter or something, some nonsense like that. It's just, I'm attentive to these things and I find it very interesting. I find human behavior very interesting. I find applying, you know, that red pill lens to human behavior very interesting. And I invite you guys to start doing the same thing because you will notice these things popping up from time to time. Uh, anytime I've seen a, a woman that, that sets boundaries and control around a guy, like, you know, he needs permission to go buy that mountain bike or to go to the range or to get that new fishing rod or something like that, and she disrespects him openly in front of other people, I'm telling you guys, uh, that is not a good relationship. They don't have great intimacy. Uh, he certainly is not leading the family, and the clock is likely ticking down to the end of that long-term relationship, which can end in disaster, because as we all know, you know, family law is quite hostile towards uh, fathers. It's very friendly towards mothers. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's very mother-friendly. Everything in family law, in fact, doesn't even encourage her to behave well during the divorce. It encourages her to behave, you know, behave quite hostile. So that's the second point. Wrapping it up on thought number three on this one, the whole happy wife, happy life lyrics. When you hear this, you can never unhear it again. Uh, these these guys are sad, you know, f like former versions of their of their Chad selves. Um, you know, I've seen these guys, you know, with the barbed wire tattoo around their arm, and you know, they're looking for approval to buy a mountain bike. You know, they get disrespected by their spouse, and they walk around at family events and gatherings or in front of other people, and they're like, "Oh, you know, Bill, you know, your wife is so pleasant," and she's like, "Yeah, he's lucky to have me," sort of thing, and you know, he's like, "Yeah, happy wife, happy life. That's all I got to do." Is just stamp everything yes 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 that doesn't work happy wife happy life is a lie uh there is no f like father or dad equivalent of you know happy father or happy king or any of those things none of those things exist the trope does not ever get repeated by women like yes you know he's my king or i'll do whatever it takes to make him happier you know you know if his uh, stomach's empty i'll put a sandwich in his hand and uh you know if he's got a uh, erection i'll take care of that there's no there's no rhyme for that it doesn't exist it's it's always happy wife happy life so Pay attention to these, these three things, guys. If you're getting into an LTR, if you're, you know, if you're considering doing anything on a long-term basis with a, you know, with a woman, and you find yourself, you know, tripping over these, uh, you know, potential obstacles which lead to train wrecks for men, course correct. Be attentive to it. Lead. You're the freaking man. If you're in a long-term relationship or a marriage, and you're finding yourself watching this, going, well, I don't like hearing it, but he's right. Well. There's some things that you can do. Start, you know, start working on that. Start learning game, you know. Uh, pay attention to things like dread and things like that. You know, you can do some research on that or I might save that for another video. But I've kind of banged on this one long enough, yeah? Smash the like button, leave a comment below. What are your thoughts, what are your experiences with this? Pin to the top comment, got a lot of useful links. Uh, my book just published on Amazon, The Unplugged Alpha. If you want to unplug from comforting lies, such as what I've just you know talked about, there's some elements of this and tons more in the book. Grab it, it's like 10 bucks on Amazon, whether you get it on Kindle or, or paperback, average price. So go ahead, pick it, that's pinned to the top comment. You wanna book me for coaching, join my men's community, request a video topic, it's all there. See you guys in the next video. Peace.